Thanks for joining me for MTI's Whiteboard Wednesdays. I'm Dan Adams. Today we're going to be talking about why friction welding, part two. This lift screw is a good example of why we use friction welding. This is something that you might find in an automobile power seat, or you might find it in the wing of an airplane to raise and lower the flaps. Now you could make this out of a single piece. It could be made out of a forging, which would be really expensive, especially as this uh, threaded rod gets longer. Uh, or I could machine this out of a single piece of bar stock, which would need to be the same diameter of the flange. As you can see, you would end up throwing away a lot of material as you machine the screw uh, out of that. Now friction welding allows me to make this out of two different pieces. Uh, I can pre-machine this flange ahead of time, all the way to size, uh, and then I can use the uh, a threaded rod right off the uh, store shelf, cut it to size, uh, and when I weld it together it ends up being the same quality as a single piece forging. Now if I need to make this out of two different materials, friction welding allows me to do that. It gives me the creativity to only put the expensive material where I absolutely need to. Thank you for joining us for this episode of MTI's Whiteboard Wednesdays. For more information on this topic or other friction welding solutions, please visit our website at mtiwelding.com.